Hello everyone and welcome to another OBS tutorial video. As always, I am James and today I'm going to show you how to test your stream quality without having to go live or use a test account. Before we go any further, if you're enjoying these short tutorials, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps to grow the channel and help others discover them too. So we've all been there. Maybe our internet is being flaky or we want to test a new game on stream, but the last thing we want to do is go live on our main account. This can be avoided by using the OBS bandwidth test. First off, we're going to head over to the settings in OBS and the stream tab. In this tab, you have your stream service details, but we are interested in the enable bandwidth test mode box. By selecting this box, we put OBS into a test mode where the stream will not be broadcast live, but this quality and the statistics can be checked. Apply this and then start streaming. You'll get a pop-up telling you you are configured in bandwidth test mode and do you want to continue? Hit yes. As you can see, the stream is now live showing all the relevant data. Moreover, if we go and check my channel out, you can see my stream does not appear. Okay, so now we're gonna head over to the Twitch Inspector website. This shows you the metrics relating to your stream quality and how stable it is. There will be a list of previous streams and if I select the top one, this is my current live stream. If this is your first time using it, you will need to authorize it for your account and log in. In here, we get data relating to current bitrate and stream stability. A configuration check will also tell you if there is anything they recommend changing with your stream. And this is all happening in real time. Now, this feature is not limited to OBS and can be done with Streamlabs. To do so, whilst in Twitch Inspector, click Run a Stream Test. This tells you to obtain your stream key from your Twitch dashboard. Paste this into the stream key section in the settings on Streamlabs, but you must add question mark bandwidth test equals true to the end of the stream key. What this means is that the flag will prevent your stream from going live on Twitch itself, but you can still view it in the Twitch Inspector. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope it's been of some use to you and you're now able to check your stream quality in a much easier and simpler way. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.